Okay. The other thing we often get, oh, is this age or am I getting older? Am I getting more musculoskeletal pain because I'm getting older? Now, I quite like these couple of graphs. So I think what we'll do, we'll start on the graph on the right side. Now, it's one of my favorite pictures I like to show patients. And it shows a, a sort of uh, a cutout or, or a picture of a, a MRI or a CT scan. I'm not sure exactly. I think it's an MRI or someone's uh thigh region uh, and this uh, it's a thigh region of a 40 year old triathlete at the top you can see uh, a lot of muscle um muscles in the thigh uh, compared to that of a 74 year old sedentary male what you can see there uh the second picture shows a lot of fat tissue fat, fat tissue surrounding the muscles of a sedentary person whereas if you compare it to below a 70 year old triathlete that, cut, uh, that sort of cut out of the, the, the thigh looks very similar to the 40 year triathlete. So exercise can negate the effect of getting older. Uh, and what, what people often find that when they say getting older, it's more immobility, which is causing changes to uh, musculoskeletal tissue rather than um, actual, the process of getting older. So exercise really negates uh, the process of getting of getting older which is more probably linked to immobility and i quite like this graph so which looks at uh world record timings of each of different age categories male and females um 100 meters and what it kind of shows is uh, the, the time doesn't change too much or doesn't increase too much so you're about sort of 70 or 80 and then things start to slow down quite a lot but exercise can play a good effect uh, in in maintaining musculoskeletal health uh, at least to uh, 70 or 80 and then sort of other things take over when you get to an older range but exercise can definitely affect uh, negate the effects of what we regard as aging.